<laughs> Let's try that again. Hello and welcome. Welcome to Thursday. I haven't gone live in so long. Everything is different on Facebook. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm just gonna say hello and uh, dive on in here. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so much going on, so much change as we all know. We're all in this wild, crazy matrix of creation, of shifting life, of trucks driving by, all the things. Everything's a bit disruptive right now, is it not? So let's just take a breath together and know that whatever changes you're going through, we are all doing this collectively on this wild ride of becoming new, new humans. Um, I'm in the process of moving, so everything is a bit of a mess, and I just felt today to come as we are. So let's take a nice deep breath together, find our center. I'm sending so much love to your light. And what I wanted to speak to today is the 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 concept of rise or release right so we're letting go of so much in so many different ways and it is really truly the rise or release time of people places things thoughts beliefs emotions it's either rising up into the consciousness at this higher evolutionary frequency or it's being let go of and we're all doing it. So, and, and this is about people, places, things, all the things. So what are you letting go of? And you're being asked to let go over and over and over and over again. And so we're letting go of a lot of people, a lot of people through, well, death, through deliverance, through releasing of karma, because this is the car, the lifetime where karma gets released. So we're not really playing the karma game anymore. And so when that karmic um, debt, we'll call it, or contract or agreement is complete, then sometimes the relationship is complete as well. And that's okay. We're seeing that play out a lot in the deep familial, the family of origin, but in all of your relationships, especially ones that have gone on for some decades. So part of what we're doing, a couple of things wanted to come through. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. And this is all for a higher purpose. We are doing this so that we can then invite our soul family to come forth. And soul family is that there's there's not there's not agreements from that contracted karmic experience, which is a lot about separation, pain, um, making amends, learning lessons, all that stuff. And soul family is an essence of enhancement. And I wanted to come in today and just give some um, pointers. I think there's one, two, three, four, six of them. How you know you've met soul family. How do you know it's soul family coming in? Number one is that you feel an, an undeniable sense of knowing. It's like, oh, hi, there you are. It might take your breath away. It's a familiarity that is undeniable. Um, you feel incredible joy or a sensation of happiness and in their presence, sometimes upon hearing their voice, upon looking into their eyes, um, through the hug, through the presence, whatever it is, there's a familiarity, there's joy, there's a connection. Um, there's also this feeling that's of eerie familiarity. It's like, oh, there you are again. Hi. Oh, hello. It's exciting. It feels fulfilling and it feels oddly familiar. You may feel a lot of emotion when you come into contact with one of your soul family tribe beings. Sometimes it's, I've, I've gotten on Zoom with, with people and all of a sudden we're crying. It's like, hi, there you are. Or maybe you're laughing because it's such an experience that is really undefinable by words, which is most of what we experience in the fifth dimensional expression. Um, you're oddly, comfortable that means you're fine sitting in silence or talking about things that you wouldn't normally talk to people about especially upon initially meeting them there's an ease in the exchange and that familiarity 
It's also that time changes when you're in proximity of that person. You might have just a few minute conversation that feels like you've been sitting together for hours. You might sit together for hours and it goes by as if it was just moments in time because you are operating from a higher soul elevation. So you're not really playing in the matrix of time, which exists only in third dimensionality. It's like the soul remembrance goes far beyond linear time and you feel better just by being with them. There's a glee, an excitement, uh, a fulfillment. Um, it's, a, it's an inhalation. It's like you get filled up for having the experience of being with them, being in proximity to them, being connected. And the last is that it's just really easy. You're like, hi, how are you? So happy to see you again. And whether you're in, you know, collaboration or communion or coming together in, in the deep well, it doesn't matter that it doesn't matter how or why you're coming together. That's the beauty of soul family. It doesn't matter because you know that your souls are eternally connected through a web that weaves in the highest dimensionality that is timeless, has nothing to do with time or space. And so you have the meetings when you have them and you feel satiated and complete, whether that was one meeting or it's a lifetime of meetings together. You know that your soul union has been made and it is uh, content and a deep level of fulfillment. So it's rise and release time, letting go of those and that which no longer serves and making an incredible amount of space for your soul family to arrive. I'm sending so much love to your light. Have a blessed day.